I wish you well, I wish you well. All through the day today, I wish you well. I wish you well, I wish you well. All through the day today, I wish you well. Have a good day. Today we're gonna read Creepy Pair of Underwear. I know this is a lot of your favorites. It's by Erin Reynolds. Can you find the Creepy Pair of Underwear? Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. Creepy underwear. So creepy, so comfy. They were glorious. Mom, Mom, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy, they're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on, asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door, and that's when Jasper noticed. The underwear glowed a ghoulish, greenish glow. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow. But it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed and put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. Finally, he fell asleep. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared or anything, but he was done with the scary underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he found it. A scratchy scrape when he heard it. A scrappy, scratchy, scrapey sound coming from his, his, his dresser. He opened the drawer and they were back, staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps to China. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox. When he opened the front door the next morning, there they were. And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China and it had brought back souvenirs. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, the creepy underwear were gone for good. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white underwear. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshade. Whew, there was no sign of creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. They were back! What's the matter with you, his mom yelled. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he said. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. He seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage, and he rode past Krakenhopper Field. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Krakenhanger Hill. Jasper began to dig. He dug until the hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. 
He dumped the underwear in, then glee gleamed from the it gleamed from the bottom that ghoulish greenish glow. But not for long. Covered it up with dirt. When he got home, Jasper crept up to the dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He pat he peeked in. Nothing. Just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. Uh oh. Look how dark it is. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there. Even for a big rabbit. Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non glowing pair of plain white and he knew what he had to do. He grabbed his shovel. He went back to Krakenhanger Hill. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they filled the, the room with that gentle greenish glow. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he laid down to sleep, he smiled, and so did his underwear because they had finally found somebody who wasn't scared. Oh my gosh, of creepy underwear. Look at all the creepy underwear. Can you find it on this page? Good job. Have a great day, I love you.